Hello guys, welcome back to my video. Today I will show you how you can create a superhero poster in Photoshop. So, without wasting any time, let's get straight into it. First, we will start by simply creating a new canvas. Simply click on create new. And here I will go to the print section and I will choose the A4 size. You can go with your and create your canvas. Let's first talk about the background. Uh, the plan is that uh, there is a simple city in the background and flash in running toward the front. And at the above, there is a flash logo. And at the bottom, there are some additional text. Let's start by placing our simple city background. You can download it from the internet. There are many websites like Freepik, uh, Unsplash, Blast, uh, Adobe Stroke. There are many websites that you can download um, some city images. Then we will resize it by pressing Alt and drag it to the top. And we will click on this tick icon. Make sure the, the street is uh, empty no one is focused here if i show you by zooming you can see there are some vehicles but they are not in focus so this is a good image for us next thing what i do is we need a simple flash image for this i am using a website called ideogram go to ideogram.com and here you will need to create an account since i have created an account i will log in and here we'll type our prompt you can download this prompt from my description and here i will choose the aspect ratio to 9 by 16 here you can see some prompt uh, keywords you can add these to achieve the desired image now what we will do is simply click on generate if you are watching this video until now please subscribe and like it will mean a lot now you can see these are some pictures that he has given to us i personally like this one because it is very standing out and i am liking it so let's click on the three dot and uh, let's download it and here we will place our image that we have generated let's double click on the flash image and simply remove its background i am using pen tool because I really like the pen tool and its final result. Now you can see the selection is completed. What we will do is simply right click on it and we will make our selection. And what we will do is press Alt and click on the mask icon. Now you can see there are some part that have not masked. To mask it, simply select the brush tool, make the opacity to 100 and flow to 100 and Hardness will be 100. Paint the area where you want to remove. And with white, you can paint the area where you want to restore it. Now you can see our image is looking like this. Then after this editing, we'll press Ctrl S on our keyboard. And we will save our image. And when we will see here, our image will be looking like this. So what we will do is press Ctrl T and resize it like this and we will place it in the center like this let's make it some bigger um, i think this is good now we will adjust the lightning so it can be matched with our background for this i am using brightness and contrast adjustment layer simply click on the color icon and click brightness and contrast and here click on this clipping mask and adjust the brightness and contrast for this I am using minus 27 for contrast and 5 for brightness. You can go with auto as well. And then we will start adding the shadow. Uh, first we will start with the ground. Simply create a new layer and place it beneath the flash layer. And simply select the brush tool. Make the hardness to 0. And select the brush tool and paint at the Road. Now simply select this layer and go to the filter blur Gaussian blur and set it as your need. I will be choosing 176 and I will hit OK. And now let's adjust the opacity. I think 
67 or 70 will be good now let's start by adding the shadow at this part same process but on the other side paint with black simply go to blur gaussian blur select one 176.2 and hit ok and make the opacity to 70 now what we will gonna do is simply we will create and curve adjustment layer and we will clip it and we will make sure the curve adjustment layer is on the top of our flash layer and we will adjust the black point so we will make it darker um like this and we will press control i by selecting mask it will invert the mask and we will select the brush tool and make the hardness to zero opacity to around 30 and flow to 10 and simply select the white color and paint over the feet of the flash make sure the mask is selected like this you can see it will add some depth in our design and make it more realistic you can see the light is coming from the above and the part that are above are brighter than the part that are blue um now let's select the flash and simply we will create a curve adjustment layer and adjust it um like this and let's reduce the opacity 40 now create a new layer select the brush tool uh to opacity 10 flow 0 hardness and select the white color and paint over light areas like this and make the opacity to that now create a new curve adjustment layer and make it very brighter and invert the mask by pressing control i now make the opacity 30 flow to 10 hardness to 0 select white color and paint over the brighter area like this now i will select the background and i will create and curve adjust and i will adjust it like this and then i will create a new layer and we press g on our keyboard to access the gradient tool then we will click on the gradient setting and here we will select uh, black color like this and and we hit okay and we will create an gradient um like this now we will click on now we will click on the bottom of our canvas and drag it to the top we will start adding our text um simply let's go to the google and type here slash logo and and here you can see this is the logo simply we will right click it and copy it and we will get, simply go to illustrator and here what we will do is we will paste our image uh, simply create a new project and i will choose a4 size you can choose whatever size you want we are using illustrator because photoshop do not have this feature that's why we are using illustrator now we will paste our logo this is the logo as you can see uh, we will press alt and shift on our keyboard and we will resize it uh, now it is an rasterized image uh, we want to create it into an vector image so we will select it and we will go to window and here is the option of image trace and we will make the preset to high fidelity photo and here you can select that colors it will do some processing and make your rasterize image into an vector image and here is an option of expand we will click on it and you can see it is converted into an rasterized image you can change all the images so you can see this is the logo um we will place it here like this perfect now we will resize it and adjust it and here we will add our text is i am creating this poster for you i am writing any simple text like coming soon and here let's uh, select this all and make the size smaller like this and let's select it and place it here and we will change the color let's go for some yellow 
golden yellow text like this um okay um let's decrease the size okay i think this is good and we will copy this text and we will type here all right reversed to fill the space simply uh, you can add your text um let's give it something darker tone and we will place it like here let's type uh, simple anything like uh, make your day like this i think this is a great posture start working on camera raw filter uh, simply select the topest layer and press alt control shift e on your keyboard it will create a copy of all your layers and make it into a single image selecting the topest layer that we have created now uh, simply go to the filter camera raw filter or you can you can press shift control a or your keyboard it will open a drop box of camera raw filter it is and place where you can color grading uh whatever you want you can do it here we will set the profile to color and here is a basic section here you can adjust the exposure contrast uh, texture clarity etc uh let's start by temperature um let's make it let's select the temperature and make it to the yellow side uh like this and we will make the tint to zero and then at the exposure side let's create make it around 0.5 i think good and let's increase the contrast little bit 7 will be good and let's let's make the rest uh, original and let's move on the texture um let's make the texture to 15 and here there is an another portion which is the curve another section um let's start by the red color let's make it um to the red side like this and rest are the same um let's make it very not very sharp and around 11% will be good here is another section of color mixer um we will make the red to the 20 at 20 or 21 and orange to the on saturation to the 18 and yellow to pink one will be good and now we will move on the calibration and we will select the process to version 5 it is the current version and here you can see the red primary we can we will increase the saturation of red primary like this and here in the radial filter simply you can adjust it uh let's adjust it to around 16.5 and these are some presets um i will not go with presets and then this is our final design if we will hit okay and you can see the after camera filter the look has changed it has improved camera filter take a major place in your design uh, make sure that you will do camera filter at the end and uh, you can see you have created this posture so guys if you like my video please subscribe i will meet you in another video Bye.